Why don't I go ahead and read the description for case 32. A series of mysterious murders takes place in a small provincial town. Detective Cur Cooper, I was going to say Cursor, must unravel a tangle of mystical chilling events to get to the bottom of the mystery. Let's check our settings here. How's audio, guys? Is it too loud? Okay, let's do it. What did that say? Uh, one developer. Full version in 2024. Dimitri, Dimitri Gon Goncharov. All right, here we go. Case 32. It's loading. It's still loading. Wow, that guy. He's doing something down there. This looks very, uh, paranormal, maybe? It looks like we're gonna have some... Either some paranormal activity or monster activity, I'm not sure. And there's a I can't I can't have an indie horror game without a mannequin. My, reminds me of the movie Case Thirty Nine. Hmm. I wonder if it's a reference. Of course, I've tried Iraqi food. I have basically eaten Iraqi food my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. We're playing the demo. Oh, and we're in. Police department. Can't leave now. I haven't finished here. Okay. Is that an AI voice? Is that one of those text-to-speech AI voices? Cooper, come in. Map of the city. In the city. Cooper coming in. Cooper here. Detective Cooper, a courier brought a letter. I left it on your desk. Great, Sean. Thanks. Great, Sean. Thanks. Old radio. It's not working. Okay. Detective Cooper, I have Maniac's letter. Okay, Detective Cooper, I've long followed your exploits. Recently, all the news stories seem to be abuzz with talk of your success. After all, you were able to capture the head of a cult that served the devil. That's why I have chosen you. What's with these, like, police hunting down devil cult people? Are they hurting people? Or, like, what if they're just minding their own business? That's why I've chosen you. The people who are part of that cult can never return to a normal life. But I can help them. After all, if the sheep get lost, it is the duty of the shepherd to lead them back into the light. I hope that you will be able to properly appreciate the masterpiece that I left for you at 37 Orchard Lane. This is like Baisu, but without a dog. Kind of similar. Captain Adams. Cooper, I'm happy to congratulate you. You were able to bring in Peters, that effing cultist. I still can't believe that they want to, wanted to poison everyone at the kids' festival. Oh, well, that's pretty bad. I get, it makes sense. And then commit a mass suicide. I just can't wrap my head around that. Prepare all the documents for the trial and give them to Jefferson, the prosecutor. Thanks, Captain Adams. I need to go to the address from the letter and check everything out. Maybe it's someone's idea of a joke. Hmm. Andy, hello. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back for five months. I appreciate it. The 
too small of us yeah that i didn't sing i didn't sing although that's one of my favorite songs i really like the uh chris lake remix are these ai images of police officers Hmm. 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 Okay, I guess we're gonna go to that address. Andy, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Why this guy sounds like Duke Nukem kinda? I feel like whenever they do the AI voices, they give them that like deep burly like Batman Duke Nukem voice. I've got balls of steel. That's Duke Nukem, right? <laughs> LOL. Oh, I almost dropped my chlorophyll. My mouth has finally stopped burning. Just FYI, milk. Finally. Am I... Is it loading? I, I can't see anything. I think it's loading. Because I, I don't see. Nicole, hello. Uh, I didn't want that for you. It's okay. It's okay. I... I I braved the Carolina Reaper. Okay, there we go. I started spamming buttons and I, I it loaded. Whoa! Bro, we just walked in here. Can't leave now. I haven't finished here. Okay. Shouldn't we call in backup before we start, like, you know, potentially messing up the crime scene? Yeah, call for backup. Come in, Sean. I need forensics at Orchard Lane, House 37. We have a murder. Understood, Detective. The forensics will be there soon. How soon? It seems we have another crazed maniac. I'll look around a bit over and out. I'll look around a bit over and out. I could have voice acted better as a man. I, I would put my deepest voice on and voice act this game for free. Come on. Although this house is pretty spooky looking. I kind of like it. Look at this place. Oh, is that me? Wow. We we have lips. Look at this man's lips. They're like... That's his face. I look like a jerk? Hmm. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure my brother still plays Duke Nukem. What's in here? Pills. Drugs. Calvin Mather. Alprazolam? What is that? Antidepressant? What do the lambs... Lambs mean... I think lambs are... Oh, antidepressants. Just prescribed by Dr. Hester. I was like, I think lambs are all antidepressants. Can't I need to brush up on my pharmacology. Um, let's go this way. Let's go down this hall. He had lip filler. He he's like rizzing himself. A clock hand. Let's take it. Don't know what I need it for, but can we squeeze in through here? Oh. We need like a lever. Okay, let's go back. The only accurate voice acting would be F this shit him out. <laughs> what are you talking about? Duke Nukem's a great game for kids. I take lorazepam. 
I take Live Laugh Lexapro. <laughs> Guys, please. <laughs> Lexapro. <laughs> I really want to say that to a patient who takes Lexapro, but now I, it would be bad. It would be bad. I can't say it. Okay, we've got some kind of, um, like, film thing here, but then they have, like, a flat screen TV. Device for viewing slides on the flat screen TV from that thing? Or, like, above it? I don't know. Okay, so we're behind this dude now. Um, oh, what's this? Bedroom key. Okay, let's take it. little closet do both of these hallways lead to the same place what kind of house is this kind of bizarre the door is locked here that no no okay we don't have what we need for this door yet uh this one oh here's the bedroom key Alexa checking in. I'm a Prozac guy. Zoloft. You guys are making me sad. Wait, what the heck, guys? What's in here? Uh, Diary of Sarah Miller. A few days ago, Harry started acting strange. He, he keeps saying that someone is watching our house. He says that he saw someone looking into our windows. Maybe this is due to the side effects of the pills that Dr. Hester prescribed. He doesn't sleep at night, but wanders around the house like a shadow while checking constantly that all the doors and windows are locked. I'm very scared. He's always saying that we're cursed because he was part of the cult. But he doesn't understand that his mind was simply clouded. I need to get in touch with Dr. Hester so that she can modify Harry's treatment. It's good that Amy left for camp and doesn't have to see her father slowly losing his mind. So is the serial killer going after all the ex-cultists? Child's room key. Okay. There I am. Cymbalta? took benzos for years and the withdrawal sucked after i stopped taking it i'm not gonna lie guys i won't take any medications um i just go to therapy which is far more expensive but in my opinion more effective <laughs> what's this a little storage room back here but nothing down here okay Let's see what's down here. What a weird house. Like, what's all over behind this wall here? Like a secret room over there? Yeah, that's the other thing is finding a, a good therapist is difficult for sure. Okay, so I don't have what I need for that door yet. Oh no, Calabo. That's that's horrible. Hello, Halobo, Halobo. I is this a child's? Ah, this is a child's bedroom key. Mhm. Mm look at the way. Look at the way we walk. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Family curses. Some kind of game. Seems that the girl liked it. Look at these little monsters. Party Island. Oh, what's this? On the back of the photo, there's some some writing. Papa is hiding something behind the bookcase. I'll definitely find out what it is. Ooh, I guess we'll find out what it is. Sean, come in. Sean here. I'm gonna head back to the police station. 
Let me know when the experts finish. Also, we need to find someone to open the locked metal door. I couldn't find the key to it. Understood, it will be done. Oh yeah, also find the file on Dr. Hester and mail it to me. Okay, I'll try to find something. Over and out. Okay. Okay. Serafina, hello. I'm glad to hear that. Kalobo. Okay, okay. Well, I think my therapist is a psychologist, but I do therapy. Understood it will be done. <laughs> so quick. So, was this the bookshelf she was looking at? Mm. Scratches. It seems that the, this bookcase was moved. Wait, let me see behind it. I can't. Why don't we move it, too? Why don't we look behind it? It sounds like we're leaving, though. You have a session tomorrow. Wish me luck. Good luck. Nala, welcome in. Was there anything else down here? I feel like if we leave, are we coming back here? There's like things that we haven't sorted out yet, you know? Are we coming back with what we took? Isn't that like taking evidence from a crime scene? You know? Am I crazy for thinking that? Maybe we're coming back. Let's just go. It's fine. Wake up, Cooper. You need a cup of bracing coffee, Stad. Huh. Me? Is he talking to himself? That sounds like me when I was like driving home from LA at like 1 a.m. Oh, I need a cup. I was like, wake up, Lulu. Wake up. One more hour. Oh, here's a cup. And the broken radio. Brother, why don't you have clothes on? What are you doing trying to tempt me? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what's happening to the guy now? Oh! Ow! Detective Cooper, come in. Cooper here. Scene. The victim is Harry Miller, age 33. Probable cause of death, multiple stab wounds. We cannot get in touch with his wife, Sarah Miller, still trying to find her. I understand, Sean. Anything else? Yes, Detective. Remember the recent case about those cultists? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up? This Harry Miller was a follower of that cult. He was set to appear as a witness. Fuck. My day keeps getting better and better. Oh yeah, it's too late to get a locksmith now. That's why we'll have to get the locked door open tomorrow. Also, I just emailed you the file on Dr. Hester. Okay. I understand, Sean. Keep me updated. Over and out. Let's read about this Dr. Hester. A voice from Madison. You. You. <laughs> okay. Sean Foster, name Molly Hester. Oh, it's a female doctor, doctor ex expert in psychology, studied on an exchange program in the Russian Federation, graduated from the Moscow Research Institution of Psychiatry. Okay, anything? I guess we could go to her house. I have a strange feeling that I should go back to the scene of the crime and take another look around. Fair. Items, documents, notes. Okay. For anyone trying to find a good uh, 
therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists, any of those things, feel free to uh, message me because I have some good tips because I had some really bad experiences with therapists until I did a lot of like basically um, uh, intentional searching to find who I'm with now. So if you're curious, I can message you or you can message me and I'll tell you what I did. Wait, where's the body? I guess they took it because... What the heck? Yeah, mes message me on Discord. She talked to you in the third person? Where's that sound? Something like crawling on the ceiling or what was I hearing? I don't have the lever for that yet. I can't get the Cymbalta commercial out of my head now. Cymbalta may help. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the heck? That was crazy. What? I want this in my house. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. And it looks like there's a button on the top. I don't have anything to put here. I wonder if we can look behind the bookshelf now. What's he hiding back there? No, he won't move it. Do we have a flashlight? Do we come here unarmed, unflashlighted? Oh, it's gone now, that note. Okay. I feel like there's something behind that, but I don't know. Show socks. Um, I have these. Oh my gosh, my legs are so sore, and I almost knocked over my thing. I have these like polka dot socks. There. There's nothing new here, right? No. Child's bedroom. As far as I can recall, there were no blood stains in this room. And there are now. That's curious. That is curious. We looked at that. Oh, looking under the bed. What's that? A whippet? What was that? What was that? A lever. Oh, we know where to go with this. Ooh! Oh my gosh, that got me. It's like a spider surprising you. Here we go. Got our, our lever. It is hard to search for a therapist, but there is like keywords you can put in that helps you kind of sift out people who are not really equipped to help you. Um, and like with my therapist, I haven't even delved into like the, the, the bad stuff yet. And I've been seeing him for like months and that's part of it. Like just meeting someone and then dumping all your trauma doesn't help you it's not it's not helping you 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 need someone who actually knows how to like help people with trauma or with depression or with whatever there unfortunately there's there's a 
egregious amount of bad therapists out there. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Come back. Where did you go? It's the police. Open up. Wait, did that door shut behind me? What the heck? Why'd that sh door shut behind me? I can't open it anymore. It it's like unusable now. Hmm. So wait, we 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 pulled that lever. Oh, okay. It did this. What's what? What's behind this? What's the purpose? Also, what are all these cords going around everywhere? Oh, oh! Gear. Oh! We can open that door now. Oh, I have to choose from there. Mm hmm. Guess we don't need that locksmith anymore. Um. Weird photos on the wall. Deforestation. Let's see, what's this? Slide with text. Okay, we can uh, put that in the slide thingy. Anything here? No? Hey, is that all? Why does this seem like it's a door? Okay, I think that's it in here. I'm gonna go to the text slide room. Bro. That has to be one of the cheapest jump scares ever. Like just throw something that takes over your whole screen with like a ultra loud sound. I can't appreciate a jump scare like that. Like I just can't. It's cheap. It's not really like... <laughs> It's not really, like, inventive. I hate it. Let's put this in. Make me mad game. What does this say? Um... Farmer Joe woke up at 6.30 a.m. After 15 minutes, he went to the barn and got an axe. Five minutes later, he chopped up his wife. So now it's 6.50? Afterwards, he had some whiskey and smoked a cigar. That took him an hour. So now we're 7.50? When the farmer approached the mirror, he did not see his own reflection. After 15 minutes, Joe thought that he was dead and shot himself in the face. So when so that's so 750 plus 15 minutes is eight eight oh five it was that eight oh five did I do that wrong you get like anti you get like immune to the jump scares eventually sometimes they still get you but like not to the same extent. 8.05, okay. Where do I... I'm assuming I use the, um, this thing, but where? But where? Is there a clock somewhere? There's some clocks in here. 8.05, okay. Um, maybe... Nothing in here, right? Maybe back in the room that we got the slide from. Mm. 
Mm, this guy? Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, we did it. I knew that was a secret door. I knew it. What is this? Whoa, that's the guy we saw. He's having a party in here. What's he got in his mouth? Shouldn't we not touch the body because evidence? Hello, what's your name? Hey, my name is Tom Harley. Tom, tell me about your childhood. What kind of relationship did you have with your parents? We were a happy family at first, but that didn't last long. When I was seven, my mother was killed by a car right in front of our house. After that, my dad started drinking. He hit the bottle every day. And whenever the booze ran out, the bastard would beat me up. Unless he was already passed out in a pool of his own vomit. Tom, could you tell me more about your father? I really wanted a dog because I had absolutely no friends. Wow. I thought that maybe a dog could be my friend. Same. One day I found a puppy close to the dam, brought him home and hid him in my room. I called him Lassie. He lived with me for three days. On the fourth day when I got back from school, I saw Lassie's corpse floating in a rain barrel in the backyard. And next to it was my father sleeping on a stool. And that's that when you killed your father. Dog, doctor. He could have just chased him away. Later, he said that he taught me a lesson. Everyone's mortal and those we love will die someday. So that was our recording? And Bro didn't murder his dad after he, his dad killed his dog? That's wild. What? Why do I have a lantern? What's going on? For real? What? How did it get all crazy creepy in here? Dogs are amazing and they deserve all the love and nothing but the best. Okay, so that room disappeared or the door shut rather. Or did it? Did it? Where was that room? It was like over here, wasn't it? Yeah, door's gone. I can't seem to go into any rooms. Can I leave? That's a good question. Oh, nope. The front door is gone. Can't leave. Wow, I've never heard a sad story like this in a horror game before. <laughs> Lan turn is, be is faster than wan turn? Thank you for the follow, but I just banned you. J Rex, welcome in. I'm lost. I, I, the joke is something to do with like internet or like it. Huh? I can't go there, huh? Why would you want to leave? My neighbor's dog snarled at me and blocked me my exit from the building. Sounds like your neighbor shouldn't have animals. Huh, what am I doing? 
What's what's my my goal here? What's what in, what exactly am I? I'm just stuck perpetually in cultist house. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't notice this. Child's room is still open. Great. What's this? All is calm, all is bright. Now your virgin mother and child. The holy if is so gentle and mild. Sleep and heavenly peace. She had a lot of teeth. That was it? No! I was getting into it. That was the demo for case 32. <laughs> I don't know what I thought about it. We'll see. J Rex, welcome in from Risu's raid. Appreciate it. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and vote on the next game. It was a cool mouth. I did like the little design on that evil little girl. Wireless area network. Okay, I I didn't know what a WAN was either. <laughs> that was case thirty-two, guys. All right, let's put up our.